Well, it looks like we're on a boat for chapters 14 and 15 of Uncharted 3. Dart ahead towards the stairs with a weird symbol on them. However, corner around left to find the unusual mask brooch. Continue on forward, and at the dead end you'll discover the rose-cut diamond pendant. It's near a fire hose case. You'll come to a firefight with a large crowd of enemies. Due to the massive waves, the cargo containers will soon start to shift. Look for the orange one that falls from the right, climb on top of it, and jump over to the next container to nab the emerald and pearl necklace. After the battle, you'll find yourself in a pool area. Head to the far left side to collect the antique Minerva pendant. There'll be another battle, this time inside a ballroom. Eventually the enemies will bust through on one of the left side doors. Enter through here, and to the right will sit the ruby and pearl pendant. Now head down the next passageway. You'll find the Georgian English compass sitting among some pool chairs. Fight through a few more enemies and you'll come to a mini bar. Head behind this to gain the ruby and diamond bracelet. Now head down to the lower level, but move under the stairs you just traveled across. Below the steps will rest the amethyst cufflink. Proceed forward and move left into the pile of crates. On the ground will be the golden amethyst ring. There's only one lone treasure within chapter 15. Eventually, you'll be climbing up and swinging across several hanging doors. On the first one, climb up into the bathroom. The silver Rococo napkin ring will be sitting near the top, near the tub and toilet. Those are all the treasures at sea, but if you're looking for more, check out our Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception walkthrough.